Good morning, Lou. Well, Orange Crush Festival's reputation really fell off the rails over at Tybee Island, but now it's coming here. It's got a new organizer who is from Jacksonville, and the events all start tonight. They're going to be all around town, but tonight is what they're calling the Artist Showcase here at the Justice Pub, but just a few blocks down from here, JSO getting ready as well. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says they're transferring inmates to make room in the jail this weekend. We asked the JSO if they've ever moved inmates for this reason ahead of an event before. They responded saying in part, quote, this happens on occasion for a variety of reasons and mentioned trying to curtail the effects of COVID-19. We asked for an example of when else this has happened and JSO did not respond. According to Tybee Island police records, most of the arrests made the weekend Orange Crush was there in 2019 were DUIs, 79 arrests that weekend in total. The Jacksonville NAACP calls JSO's move discriminatory and unprecedented. Around 20,000 people are expected to be in town for Orange Crush Festival events. Four times as many people pack downtown Jacksonville for the Florida Georgia game called the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. We asked the Orange Crush Festival organizer Stefan Smith for his response on the JSO inmate move. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is definitely going to do their job. The Beaches mayors put out a statement reminding people about the rules, saying they have an education campaign that's actually been going on since before spring break, reminding people about the rules, no alcohol, no open containers, no littering, and no walking on the dunes. I'm Renata DiGiorgio, live in downtown Jacksonville. First Coast News.